Говорит Москва. Okay, welcome back. Now we all know where we're gonna head. We're gonna go see our friend Vasily, see if he's even in camp or not. Something happened here. The door is broken and the room is covered in shell cases and dried blood. Let's go ahead and enter the house. As soon as I entered, I was hit with a terrible smell. The walls were caked in blood and things were tossed around everywhere. A disfigured corpse was sprawled in the far corner, a notebook on the floor next to him. Search the body. There was a lighter in the dead man's pocket, as well as an old Soviet passport. It's Vasily, the boatman's friend. Vasily must have been waiting for the signal to hit to the waterfront when the madman entered his house. Judging by the tracks and the chaos left behind, they killed him and stole the radio antenna. I need to tell the boatman. Let's go ahead and... Okay. Uh, I was about to go tell the boatman what happened, but mutant snakes, man. Go ahead and uh, attack them. We shall bring in what we have. The pistol and whatnot. Now, I can run away. I think I really should run away, to be very fair with you. Go ahead and uh, get our friend here back as well. Okay, good. I don't want to get stung by them. So, let's go ahead and uh, move. Can this guy not? Oh, I see what's happening. Well, that's not great. Uh, this might be a, a mistake here, in my part. Ah, uh, well. Let's try to get away then. Left the battlefield successfully, but I did get bit. This is going to be an issue. No injuries or diseases though, so looks like we dodged a bullet there. Let's go back to the boatman. Enter the city real quick. Okay. When the boatman saw that I had returned alone, his face turned sullen. I handed him the diary and told him what had happened. Those low lowlifes. They even took the radio. We need to get even with these bastards and take back what they stole. It looks like there are a lot of them. We need a plan. We have a plan, but no bullets. Listen, there's hardware store in town. It's locked up, but I bet there's sulfur and saltpeter inside. I can use that to make gunpowder. I can go. Here, take this crowbar. It's old, but it'll work on door. You go, I'll grab some guns to help us do the job. Meet me at the madhouse. Until next time, friend. Before we can do that, let's go ahead and check on our energy. We seem to be okay, but definitely going to need to rest before we do anything further. Uh, food, we are full. Water, we're good. Looks like it's time for us to toss a few items again. Not great. Let's go ahead and toss as many of these uh, papers as we can. They seem to be commonplace items rags as well we don't need so many like so perfect okay great do we have enough we do have enough let's go ahead and get in there see as you can see it does take a lot of energy and i don't have enough uh real quick we shall rest a little bit at the area let's get as much energy as we can uh that will be 80 yeah All right, perfect. Now let's go ahead and quickly get the job done. 
I've got it open. Looks like there's a lot of materials here that came in very handy. I'm glad he gave me that crowbar. Okay, let's get that. Materials we all need. Forget about the newspaper. And we can uh, then go to the madhouse. The madman had settled into the dilapidated barracks. I found the boatman nearby. He was hiding, waiting for me to with a pair of shotguns. Let's go ahead and uh, hand over the sulfur to saltpeter. After assembling the cartridges, the boatman offered a spirited remark. So let's get in there and take these buggers down. Go ahead and launch the attack. Alright. In terms of weaponry, I feel like we are sorted out. I might swap this out with that. Uh, also... Should I? Maybe, maybe I'll keep that and uh, use the shotgun instead. The grenade, I'm not so sure. The Molotov cocktail might come in handy as well. I only have one shot. Huh. Well, we'll do it. Oh, lord, there's a lot of them. Alright. Range, range. Uh, the pistol can shoot a little further. I'm gonna go ahead and take cover behind the uh, table here. I cannot shoot him with that, but I can use my Makarov. Okay, that's enough to take him out. Now it's the ally's turn. I want to use this puppy to attack. Uh, he has a range of that much. Let's see, I'll have to move him here then. Just enough for me to scratch him up a little, you know. And then we can move him away again, like so. Now in terms- oh my lord, he just blasted them with a shotgun. Okay, the left flank is- he's covering the left flank, that's great. Uh, I'm just gonna keep firing from the table here, like so. Uh, I still can move, I'm gonna go to the right flank here, try to entice them to come forward. Whereas the crow- <laughs> crow, I guess it's a, a bird. Uh, like before, come forward attack once and move away let's see what our boatman does oh my lord okay boatman's got uh, heavy damage on him i need to help him out right now uh best way to do that is to go forward here and i can't shoot him with the shotgun but i can shoot him with the uh, pistol this is going to be close all right we're going to move the bird forward Hopefully this attack does not miss, and we were successful. A lot of experience we got for both our survivor and our bird. Let's go ahead. The boatman gathered the remaining pieces of the stolen radio equipment and made his way to the door. I suggest taking a good look around here. You never know, maybe some of this stuff will come in handy. I'll wait by the boat. Alright. Now that was an experience. Uh, boatman come in, came in clutch. We have four papers, one crossbow bolt, five rags. Let's go ahead and search all of them. Make sure we don't miss anything. Okay. I want everything. <laughs> Dried meat. I'll take that. We don't need the rags for now. But looks like my pet is very hungry. So let's go ahead and feed him. Let's feed him. Let's feed him that. Eh, he's satiated. He's, he's happy. It's a raven. That's what we got. Now, in terms of perks, we have more perks that we can uh, get more. I'm definitely going to go for... Uh, oh, weapon durability is pretty nice, too. Armor quantity. Let's get that. Immunity to food poisoning and parasites with maximum health is reduced by 50. Now this... This is a good one. What do you think? Immunity to food poisoning and parasites. As much as I like that... I think I'm gonna go for pistol damage. Dodge change plus 5%. Cigarettes have no negative effects, but you are addicted to them forever. I don't want to do that. The dodge chance. Survivability is what I'm going to go for. Again, we got raw diet. 
Amount of woods, 50% damage versus animals, 10% crossbow damage, 5% crossbow range, plus one. I think... I think I'm going to be relying on the crossbow a lot. So, let's go ahead and get the crossbow range. And also that will help so much. Okay, great. Now that we have that done... Let's read up on our thing. Make your way out of the city. Find the area of the opponent you're looking for. Okay, that's the wrong one again. Well, that's that. This town is finally free from madmen. I should get back to the boat so we can set off for Beliamorsk and avoid the contaminated land. Alright. We are completely jacked. Uh, I think it's time for us to drop certain items and also eat. We have some water to spare. And other than that, I think... Yeah, I think we should just eat. This one's gonna last for how long? Well, let's go ahead and eat the rusks. It's gonna dry us out. I might as well eat everything. And then hydrate again. Okay, just enough for us to get out of this town. Let's go ahead and... Uh, do that. The boatman placed Vasily's equipment in a wooden crate and asked for my map. This is my village here. I'll get you to Belomorsk as promised. I don't know why you'd want to go to that hellish city. But that's your business. Hmm. Let's go. Well, we've made it. Good luck with your search. I'll be waiting for you at the fishing village. Until next time. Alright, boys. I'm gonna end this episode here. Thanks again for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to share, like, and subscribe if you think I earned it. I'll see you again next time. Wolfie out.